What's up YouTube? This is Andrew with Programming Liftoff and today we are going to continue the implementation of our calculator in C++ and Qt. Now where we left off we could just press the buttons but we are also in this video going to add the decimal point. We're going to add the plus minus button and we're going to add the percent. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I have the project opened up in Qt. So first we're going to implement the decimal button. So to do that, we'll go look at the uh, UI file. So in previous videos, the only way we've added a slot is by adding the code ourselves. But there's also another way to add a slot, which is just right-clicking on the button and clicking Go to Slot. And... Uh, we'll select the signal released and just plus, press OK and it will automatically connect the button to this uh, this slot. This piece of code will run when the button is pressed. Alright, so and we don't need to connect it up here. It does that for us behind the scenes. So let's add some code um, to the decimal button. So what we want to do is we just want to change the text to the decimal button. We're going to add um, add the decimal at the end of it. And we need to make sure we're uh, appending that to the label, to the text that's already in the label. So that will get the text in the label and add a decimal after it. So we'll test that. Now if we want to say 89.9, alright, that looks like it's working now. And as you can see from the code, um, it doesn't check to see if there's a decimal already there, so that's one thing you might want to do in your code. You can check the text label and if it contains a decimal, then you don't want to add the decimal. If it doesn't contain a decimal, then you do want to add the decimal. So it's just a if-else statement there. Alright, so now we're going to add the unary operator uh, function. So this one we're going to do manually. And I tend to add them... Uh, manually when there's multiple buttons that will execute the code in the slot I find it uh, I think that's uh, a little simpler you can choose the name of the slot that way and you don't have to go with the uh, the, the default name that it gives you um, if you do it uh, using the interface so we're going to add it manually this time Alright, so we declared it. Alright, so here's our here's our slot uh, definition and this will be for the plus and minus button. Um, and also for the percent button. So we are going to add some code in here for the plus minus first. So um, we're going to say if button text is equal to plus minus. And as you can see, I said button text, but currently uh, there's no button variable defined. So we're going to have to um, declare a button. And we'll give it the value um, of the sender, as we've done before.
All right, and now we'll get um, we'll get the current value from the uh, from the label. And we'll use the two double again um, to convert it to a number. And as you can see, we're using label number, but that isn't defined yet either. And we've done this uh, previously, so we'll just um, we'll go take some of this code from above since we're doing the same type of thing. And we simply want to change the sign of the value, so just multiply it by negative 1, and that will accomplish our goal. And then we convert it from the Q string back to a number right here, um, which is what we've done the same type of thing up here before. And finally, as you can see up here, we set the text. So let's do that. All right, so. One more thing, we'll have to connect it this time. And we'll change the slot to the slot we just defined. All right, so that should be working now. And as you can see when we run it, if we type 99, looks like it's working. Alright, cool. So now let's implement the percent button. So now we want to say, we'll just copy this if statement. But now we want to check to see if it says percent. And instead of multiplying it by negative 1, we want to uh, multiply it by 0 0.01. So 0 0.01. And everything else uh, will be the same, so we can run that. And now if we type 100, oops, it looks like we forgot to connect um the button to the slot so we weren't calling the slot so this was the push button underscore percent and we want to call that slot so let's run that and as you can see if we type 99 we'll get 99.99 all right cool and you can still use the plus and minus All right. Um, so now we are going to um, create these slots for some additional buttons. All right. So let's add a button for a slot for clear. So we'll go back to the UI for this since clear is just going to have its own slot. Uh, since it does a unique thing, we'll just add it through the GUI interface. All right. So we have that slot. And now we're going to add one for equals, um, and we'll give that its own as well. So as you can see, it's really convenient to be able to add the slots right through the uh, GUI interface. So I like to do that um, whenever I just have one uh, button, as I mentioned, just because it, it's a lot quicker, uh, a little easier. Alright, and then we'll add the um, 
We'll add the last one manually. This will be for the uh, binary operation pressed. Um, so as you can see, uh, we now have slots that don't, they don't all work, but they're all defined except for these uh, four operations. So we'll add uh, one slot for all of them. And you can see um, when we add uh, the uh, the slots through the GUI interface, it still adds the declaration up here as a private slot. Um, it still does that for us. We, uh, it doesn't add the connect code. It connects it behind the scenes, but it'll add code in here to declare the slot. Alright, so now let's uh, create the function uh, definition. Alright, and since this one has multiple buttons that can call it, um, we'll come up here and get the code to identify uh, to store the sender. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. We've implemented the decimal point and the plus minus and the percent. In the next videos, we will add functionality um, for the rest of the buttons, the clear equals and operation buttons. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.